Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Sex Figure Reviews, and today I am back with another full review to do for you guys, and this time I have the Elite Series 108 Omos figure. Um, this figure my brother found in Walmart uh, quite, a, quite a long time ago, actually. I just hadn't had time to do the review because uh, I was busy doing the other reviews that I had to do with the Ultimates, catching up with that. And uh, plus some of the um, elite WCWs, some new waves that came out. So I never got around to it since um, it was just like a pickup from store. I didn't get it on the mail car or anything like that. And I do have a bunch of other ones that I have been finding in stores. And uh, I just kept like pushing them off. But they are coming as soon as these reviews are over. I have uh, Seth Rollins. I have Dominic Mysterio. Ricochet, Finn Balor, and I just got in the uh, Royal Rumble sets. I also have the other WCW sets. I have uh, Ultimates also, so I have a pretty long list of uh, figures to do reviews of, plus uh, more coming as well. There's going to be some more mail costs coming soon as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that, guys. But anyways, let's get on to this review. Omas Elite Series 108. Um, I think we're already like in like... 112 something like that if i'm not mistaken so three series four almost four series ago actually but um i wanted this figure just because uh i didn't have an omos but um, i ended up ordering the other omos on ringside which um i did a review of and check it out for that uh i forgot what series that was but uh it was his first figure and then as soon as i ordered him my brother found this one so i i thought i was still i still get it because um you know i never got an omos figure until last the last one so uh second ever omos elite i believe here's omos on the side the nigerian giant right there very this is a hefty box too there he is there coming out um i believe this was mania yeah mania uh others in the line that brock lesnar la knight Bron bronson reed omos chelsea green and terry gordy um, this LA night, man, is flooded in Walmart. Like, it's there. It's been there. I'm surprised he hasn't hit, uh, clearance in my, uh, store. But here he is. There's some stats right there and some info up there. So you guys can read that as well. Pretty cool figure, honestly. I think, uh, he doesn't really come with much. So, yeah, let's, uh, open this. Get the knife out. Like I said, there's gonna be more reviews coming i have a lot more like i just mentioned those i have more ultimates and there's going to be more ultimate and leads on the way so stay tuned for that i'm also doing wrestling figure moves on youtube shorts instagram and tiktok so go follow me on those social platforms to see those videos as well here are his hands the tape i don't think he didn't have tape on the other elite I have them out so we can uh, compare. Oh, don't tell me how to tie. I mean, that's really not going to make a huge difference if they're just going to put one on one hand. There is the Omas. Damn, this... Feels like it's taller than the last one. Very cool one though. Check this out. Omas. The accessories that come with this guy is just this. Um, which is his hat. Hold on. It's just like his hoodie. Um, I don't know what it would be. I guess just the hoodie cape thing. Um, I'm not really sure. It, it has no sleeves. Um, yeah, it's just the thing. It's just a single thing. It has the Omos logo there. And uh, I don't know what it says here on the back in gold. But pretty cool accessory, I I want to say. You can put that on the other Omos. Here are the hands, closed-fisted hands with white tape. Uh, you know, nothing new. Same here on the figure himself. He comes with these um, mic-holding hands with uh, tape. And I want to say it's exactly the same as the last Omos. Why does he have something here? I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but he has like, like a indent there. And you can kind of see it. 
Uh, so I don't know what the hell that is. I don't think his last elite had it, but um, the 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 gear on this figure look, it's all a uh, black tank top. He has green, he has uh, white, and then he has these uh, words again here on the side that I don't really know what that says. This like kind of tribal design on the back. Uh, the pants are pretty cool though. I think these are different from his other ones. These are like have like a different mold, black, uh, with um red accents, and then the buckles are like. The silver type. These boots, I believe, they are different as well as the other Elite. Um, these are kind of like the Bobby Lashley boots that has the straps all over. Big, big style there. And I think the head scan is also a little bit different. He has a bigger beard, fuller beard there. Uh, pretty cool. Old Moss figure. Very nice. Uh, now we'll see if he moves the same way as the other one. Because the other... Uh, Oh, Moss figure actually moved pretty good. So, you know, twist his head all the way. Her arms are really good. Smooth. Big arms too. Double jointed elbows, but kind of stuck. Bicep swivel. Good. Wrist rotation there. Nice. Ab crunch is good. It's not loose. I expected it to be loose. Um, Wrist uh, waist rotation as well. Now this, this arm is kind of stuck on oh, this other side here. See if I can get it to move. Nope. It's stuck. Oh, the legs, man. Oh, yeah. These are not going to kick the same as the other ones. These are, these are like acorn joints on this one. You can tell right away, man. These legs kind of suck. Ugh. And I wanted to use kind of this almost because you had like a different gear. But I think I'm just going to stick to the other one. Upper uh, thigh cut there. Upper boot cut as well. They're kind of loose on the left side there. And then uh, obviously some um, toe articulation or some ankle pivot, I mean. Uh, kind of disappointed on the legs, honestly. He is like on the acorns because he kind of barely moves. Damn, this almost kind of whack from the bottom, man. The gear, honestly, is good. I like it. It, it looks pretty cool. But I want to say his last delete is way better in terms of articulation. Look at this. Look at his 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 height is not like that bad, but it's also not you know the best compared to others. But for being a giant, it moves really well, and uh, I believe he's also on a ball. I mean on acorns, but it's way better movement. <clears throat> Which one would you prefer? Which one would you pick? Uh, this one has uh, like gray wrist tapes, not black. He also had a chain on it, and the uh, he came with the tag team championships. Now, this Omos right here looks dope, though. I like it. The head skins are the same, except this one has the you know a little bit more of a fuller beard. The the feet part and the leg part are different. The only things that are kind of different, you know. The rest is the same. It's just that it's just the paint apps are obviously different. So yeah, I want to see. Oh, this thing looks on this uh, Omos over here. Hmm, I can probably use this. Look at that. That looks dope. That looks pretty cool. So, at this point, I'm not really sure what Omos I'm going to be using. If I'm going to be using this guy right here. Or continue using him with my fig fed. Or if I'm going to be uh, using the new Omos there. But let me know what you guys think of this figure, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. There's a lot more reviews coming, so uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.